I have a very unusual and actually thankless job. Hey, Kathy Bernardo here from the Northeast Assisted Fertility Group. I am the egg donor coordinator of an egg donor agency, and it is a very unusual job. I was quite coincidentally an egg donor when I was like 29, 30 twice, and then I met my husband who was an adoption lawyer, and then we went into this business. So I knew a lot about egg donation already, but I wasn't actually trained in social work or medicine or anything like that. I was actually in an art historian by training. Um, but in my mind, I always thought like my, my ideal job would be like some kind of madam, you know? <laughs> and in a way I am, I'm kind of like matching young women to their recipients in a way, kind of curating and procuring them. And it makes me think of that, um, that old painting, I think it's Judge or Netherlandish of the Procurus, like this, this old hag that, and this beautiful young maiden who's kind of selling her off. Well, anyway, and another part of my own personal life that has made me kind of well suited to this job is that when I grew up, um, I was not told who my father was. I was made to assume it was somebody else um, when it was actually somebody else and I was carrying all these secrets in me. So I've actually knew how to keep these kinds of big, big secrets in my head. And I've got tons of secrets in my head. I know everything and um, that some people aren't supposed to know. So I go around, I'm just good at keeping secrets. I'm good at procuring. So I guess I kind of, it was kind of meant to be that I'm in this position. So most of the time things go fine, okay? But when they don't, it can be very unusual. One time we had a um, transgender woman. So she was a man and then she came to be a woman and then she wanted an egg donor from us. So she um, was both the father and mother and that and we had to get her an egg donor obviously um, she didn't carry the baby that didn't happen she had a surrogate but that was one of the more bizarre ones egg donors are women in their 20s and for the most part the most wonderful generous responsible women but sometimes it gets a little um, difficult um, women in their 20s have a lot of distractions and the hardest thing for me was some women is getting them to show up to their appointments on time because when you monitor, you have to be there between seven and nine in the morning and you can't oversleep. Sometimes even women from out of town, I get them a hotel room that's like two blocks away from their from the clinic and even that is hard to get them, get their asses there on time. So it's a very, very stressful job for in some cases. And some are just bizarre. Once we got a um, an anonymous call from someone who said, you know, one of your donors has, um, is in these foot fetish porn videos. I'm like, what, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? This is the craziest thing I ever heard. Um, I couldn't find any um, proof of that. I searched and everything, but I figured, well, she's not engaging, even if it were true, she's not engaging in any um, uh, really dangerous behavior. Um, if it's just feet, you know, it's just feet, right? And if she's tested and she was tested clear, so what am I gonna do? It's just a rumor, what can I do? And then, you know, recipients can be a little odd. You know, if, if some of the men wanna see bikini photos of donors, that's definitely a no, I don't think that's right. Once I suspected, because of the same last names and the same backgrounds, that a man with, um, and he's in a second marriage, and he wanted to have a sort of new family with a younger wife, wanted to look at the database, and I suspected that his daughter was a donor. I'm like, oh crap, so I had to take her down, and that was really creepy and weird. Um, but recipients have all kinds of unusual requests and I don't judge, you know, whatever they want, but this is one thing I can tell happens over and over again. It's kind of like dating. People have a list of what they want and they always say education. For some people, education is so important, so important to be educated. And they're like, okay, um, go ahead, take a look at the database and, you know, give me your list. And they always come back with the list. That's just the top five prettiest girls on the site. Forget it, they, there's a Fulbright, Fulbright Scholar on our site, Rhodes Scholar, MIT grad, engineer, they'll pass her by, and it's always, no matter what their search criteria are, they always go for the prettiest girls. Does that mean that they're bad hypocrites? No, this is normal, this is human nature. You know, we are attracted to people who have the most regular features. It's supposed to be an indicator of health and good DNA. But for whatever reason, people don't want to admit to themselves 
Um, they're embarrassed, I think, that what they want is just the prettiest girl. I mean, it's totally understandable. And it just happens all the time. But I always laugh because whenever they say educated, it you know, doesn't matter. And I don't judge. So that's just a little bit of my observations of what I do and how I do it. And it's very, very stressful. I've got, you know, 20, 25 of these matches going on at any one time and everyone has to be managed. Um, the needs of the recipients and the needs of the donors. But the best part of my job is a year or two later, I'll get a baby photo and a thank you note. I mean, that really makes my day. Out of all the stress and the, the loss of sleep and crying and all that, that makes it all worth it. And if I think back on the 15 years I've been doing this, if we've had 50 babies at least a year, imagine if we got all those kids together in a room. And I really helped make that happen and I helped create families. So that makes me feel good about my job every once in a while. But most of the time, it's super stressful and I don't get any thanks at all. In fact, if people are happy and they walk away and they don't even want to remember they had they used a donor, that's fine too. I just want people to be pregnant, happy, and have a good experience with us. So I thought, I hope that was interesting to you. I don't know how helpful it was, but um, you know, egg donation, it, 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 it is not the, the stuff of Lifetime movies, as you can imagine. It really is just a normal, everyday thing, and most of it works out great, and it's, it's not unusual or scary. Um, but it is stressful, and it can be painful. Um, infertility, of course, it can be a painful thing, and aren't we lucky to have this technology available to us? So if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please put any comments below. Subscribe to my channel and go to assistedfertility.com for more information on egg donation and surrogacy. Thanks so much for watching.